Hi! I really like bunnies, spooky season, and photography. So I think it's only fitting that I take spooky Halloween photos of the bunnies. And don't tell me it's too early because as soon as September hits, it is spooky season. I've done a few Halloween photo shoots with my rabbits before, but they've all been witch themed. So this year I am challenging myself to not only not do witchy photos, but to do a different Halloween theme for each rabbit. I would like to work around their colors, so I want to do a simple black and white shoot with my white bunny. I'm thinking to do like a neutral colored foresty haunted forest for my brown bunny. And of course, a vampire shoot for my black bun. I'm gonna get working on the ghost shoot first since it's the simplest and I already have everything I need to get started. Let's get creating. weird in the fisheye but that's okay i've got the setup behind me sorry it's like a mess all around I'm trying to figure out how i want to do the lighting if i want to take video and photo or just photo i think i'm just gonna take photos since i'm trying to get more into that i've got my strobe here i got a speed light i probably don't even need the speed light i could probably just use a reflector instead but i don't know my test shots looked good so Let's go. I'm on the hunt right now for something cheap to paint on to make a backdrop. I'm on a really small budget because my one rabbit has dental issues, so she's been pretty pricey lately. My plan is to stop at Dollar Tree and just get a tablecloth, and hopefully painting on that works out. So. So this did not turn out nearly as good as I thought it was going to. Do not hire me to paint anything for you. The paint wasn't adhering to the tablecloth as well as I thought it was going to. That combined with me not being the greatest painter, it wasn't blending. It just wasn't working. It was not gonna happen. My original plan was to add leaves up here to kind of add like a 3D effect. I'm not gonna do that anymore. I'm actually going to use a different backdrop that I already own. This one, she's pretty. She's just like a simple one that I got off of Amazon a while ago. It probably won't give off as much of a spooky vibe as I want, but it's okay. We work with what we have.
Okay, I hope I'm in focus and I really hope I don't look too much of a mess. This is my very simple setup for my photo shoot with Saki. I've quite literally just used mock flooring, I guess. I bought this set off of Amazon that has like fake floors for product photography, but the rabbits are small enough to use it not only as a floor, but also as a backdrop. As you can see my setup here. I'm also going to try to get my bun to wear these little wings. I used these before for another photo shoot. Saki is pretty good with hats, but she doesn't like things on her body, so we might just rest them on her. No matter what, if that doesn't work out, it's still going to be cute because I'm going to edit little vampire teethies on her, which is ironic considering her dental issues. And I'm also going to squish up a bunch of strawberries for her to eat so it looks like she's eating blood. And hope it doesn't ruin my little fake floor. Okay. These floors are definitely a pet and strawberry friendly. Thank you so much for watching. I had a lot of fun making these. There's definitely some things that I would do different for next time, but that's how we learn. I'm super excited to do more rabbit shoots in the future and also just more animal photo shoots in general. If you enjoyed this video, even the tiniest bit, please leave a like. And if you want to see more photography content, don't forget to subscribe. I am actually going to start posting to YouTube again. Thank you so much for watching.